Hello everyone, welcome to Grid Up. My name is Shantanu Sanwal. I have taken the previously the course on theory of machines and vibrations. Today I am here starting a new topic on theory strength of materials. The subject which we are going to start from today will be the strength of material also known as solid mechanics or or in some in your graduation level or the B or B tech level you might have also learned it by the name of mechanics of materials okay the subject is same whether you take it the name of strength of material solid mechanics or mechanics of materials all the things are same You can see the weightage of this examination in the past four years we have taken the data from 2015 to 2018 and as you can see the average number of marks is almost around 9 to something around 9 to 12 marks okay so the weightage is 9 to 12 marks if you consider the gate examination in which the total is 100 marks 15 marks for mathematics if you exclude that and 15 marks for English and aptitude part if you remove that so you are left with the 70 marks of technical examination or the technical syllabus okay and out of those technical syllabus of 70 marks if 9 to 12 marks is of this subject that is the SOM strength of materials so you can find out that this will be approximate 13 to 14 percent marks that this subject has the weightage okay so 13 to 14 percent weightage of any subject in any in any in an, any examination the competitive examination which has a cutthroat competition so the single marks can make or take away your life regarding career i'm talking about especially obviously not a, a take it the other way so 13 to 14 percent of weightage of this subject is a very big weightage okay so taking this the seriousness of the subject or the sincerity paying the focus on the subject we will start this subject from the next class in this class we will just see the syllabus the books and all okay subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from trade up so the books and references for the strength of material subject we have an indian author by the name of uc jindal very experienced faculty okay very experienced professor and this is the book that is the second edition has recently been launched into the market the Pearson publication the book by Pearson publication and the highlights are for the numerical approach and the theoretical concepts okay the next book the very good book of a foreign author given by Gary and Timoshenko the two persons Gary and Timoshenko the highlights is same the theoretical and conceptual clarity and the practical explications and examples but as the time is very less for you as the exam is very near the gate examination 2019 February first week so I would suggest if you haven't gone through any of these books till now or you haven't done the book study during your B or B tech level I wouldn't prefer you to buy a book at this point of time because reading the book page by page or line by line takes a lot of efforts and it will also consume a lot of time and the time is the basic constraint at this during these hours so what you have to do you just focus on what we will be teaching here throughout the course and solve the questions the practice questions from the quizzes the test series the mock test the previous solved papers you can do them and they will be I think more than enough if I am talking about 9 to 12 marks so easily you will be able to get 7 to 10 or if you are extremely if you get an extremely clarity on the concepts so you can get all 100% marks in this subject also because this subject is almost completely numerical type of subject the theoretical questions you will hardly find any theoretical question in this subject especially in the gate examination if we talk about the other examinations like the ISRO examination or the engineering services there are some might question some of the total questions asked 
some 5-10% questions may be of theory also. But especially in the gate examination, what we have been analyzing from the past few years, the questions are totally numerical. Okay, So you have to focus, you just don't have to read the books or read these lectures or go through these lectures. Just note down what we will be doing here and then solve the problems, the applicative part that will be useful. You have to solve the numericals because the use of calculator or the familiar use of calculator will be very much helpful and beneficial in this subject because at last you have to solve the problems by that virtual calculator during the examination and that will only you will only be thorough with that when you practice that numerical solving via calculator that virtual calculator during your preparation period and it's my very humble request do not use those handheld computer calculators while solving or while reading while preparation or while solving the test series and quizzes at your home during these time because if you think that you can be doing that with a handheld calculator during this and you will directly use that virtual calculator in an examination hall then it will become really difficult because you have to understand that how that calculator works what is the because I need to tell you one thing here which is not related basically to this subject only but to the use of virtual calculator that if you need to find out some sine function so in that held held computer what you do if you need to find sine 45 so you press sine button first and then you press 45 then it will give you the answer okay but in that virtual calculator if you need to find out the same value of sine 45 then you first need to type 45 and then you need to press the sine button okay so it's completely a reversal of that therefore this also we have a video we have a course on this also we have made a slight video on this also that how to use a virtual calculator effectively you can go through that also but what we are I am trying to do tell you that basically for this subject and all the other subjects which have more numerical in them just use the virtual calculator right now it's available it's the app also that's available and also it's available the link is available on the gate website that how to use that virtual calculator and from there you can use it okay so let us see what is the syllabus of this subject that what is importance for gate and what we are going to cover the first topic will be the stress strain the basic topic very important questions come very frequently from this elastic constant is somewhat related to stress strains only because it's applicative part the both combined makes an applicative part then bars and series in parallel also important all these topics are important I'm not we and the whole syllabus is only important we are not going to leave anything okay because the question may come from any point of the syllabus and we have to solve we have, must focus on 100% marks obtained okay the next topic is strain energy resilience toughness then next is thermal stresses the stresses that occur due to the change in temperature whether heating or cooling then bending and shear stress very important torsional shear stress again frequently questions asked from this topic also principal stress strains very important more circle for stress and strains strains is not that much asked but stress is very important theories of elastic failure every time almost every time in one set or the other the question is asked shear force and bending moment diagram very very important topic the question is asked almost every time in every session deflection of beams same goes for deflection of beams also the question asked almost every time then thin then columns and struts struts the question are not generally asked and there is a slight difference the analysis of the both is same almost there is a basic difference between the column and the struts okay we will do the theory of columns in a very very conceptual manner I will let you know what is all we need to do and then, then the thin pressure vessels the thin pressure vessels of two types that is the cylindrical and the cylindrical and spherical almost both are equally important there is one thick pressure vessel also but that is not included in the gate topic so even if you have been studying it or 
you have seen some questions here and there in any other examination because in other examination in the engineering services and all it is in included in the syllabus. So if you have those notes and if you are reading that, so please discontinue it especially for the gate examination because the gate examination syllabus is focused only on thin pressure vessels. So this is all the syllabus that we will be covering in this lecture series and next but we need to see some basic that what is the strength of material for a novice or for a person who is the beginner who does not know or who does not have that idea that what is the strength of material is all about. So this is a brief introduction about what the strength of material is. The strength of material is a study of internal resisting forces which are developed or induced due to elastic deformation of a body under the action of loads okay basically you have to understand this at this point of time that it is the study of the internal resisting force how that internal resisting force is developed and what is that we will be seeing it in the chapter of stress and strains when we will be reading about the stresses and strains that will then we will be looking into this deeper deeper that how internal resisting force acts or what is it okay just for the time being you just take it like this that strength of material is the study of internal resisting forces that are developed okay next is the aim of strength of material subject what is the aim of the subject in a practical manner if you want this aim the strength of material subject aim is to derive the expressions for deformations strains and stresses which are developed under different loading conditions okay by using experimentally obtained elastic properties that is the Young's modulus the poison ratio what is that you don't have to worry at this point of time even if you are not familiar with any of these words or terms like the poison ratio the Young's modulus what is deformation what is the strain what is the stress nothing to worry about at all we will be taking from the very basic that was it a force what is a stress what is a strain, what is deformation, what is Young's modulus, what is this and what is that. We will be taking it in a very conceptual and very clear manner. Then we have also a subject called engineering mechanics in mechanical engineering that is generally studied in the first semester or second semester of the BE or BTEC course. But and in this and in that subject also we also study about the forces so what is and in this strength of material also we are I told you that we are studying about the forces so what is basically the difference between the two subjects okay in the engineering mechanics and the strength of materials why they have been made the two subjects okay there is a difference okay as I told you the strength of material is a study of internal resisting forces which are developed or induced due to elastic deformation of a body under the action of loads but engineering mechanics is a study of external forces and their effects on rigid body so this term internal and external only these two words make a difference or these two subject or these two uh, words or the terms make a difference between the subjects of strength of materials and engineering mechanics okay you have to understand this in engineering mechanics we study about the external forces and their effects on the bodies and in the case of strength of materials or mechanics of materials or solid mechanics we study about the effect of internally induced resisting forces that's it okay so from the next class we will be starting with the very basics that what are the types of loads and all and then we will see that how those loads act because first of all we need to understand that what are kinds of load that on a body can act then only we will understand that what will be their effect on the body how the internally uh, forces will be induced a stress will come a strain will come then how to solve these problems and all okay till then it's my request you to you all that please study the all these subjects now it's the very high time for the gate preparation the time is very less okay we will be starting with the basics in the next class if you have any queries regarding this subject though we have not started right now when we will do that then and for any other subject if you have any queries any doubts you can ask us on the grade up app and on the website your feedback is always welcome and if you haven't enrolled yourself in the test series till now you can do it on the grade up we are providing you an awesome test series have a very wide range of questions the subjective test the complete of the part test that can in includes four or five subjects a package and the previous air salt papers and the full length subject full length mock test also so see you in the next class till then thank you bye